Ball is doing a Rojas exactly what Rojas wanted to do to Gamboa, which is drawing leads and countering. And there it is. He drew the lead, countered, he missed. But that's his strategy, and it's working. Rojas is so reluctant to lead. Tries the big left hand. He's wide with all his shots now. We know Rojas. He's a veteran. He's been in with five world, different world champions. Gamboa's a baby. He's a rookie. Five rounds of more, only three times. So another push. That's a knockdown. Three, That's a knockdown now. It looks like a push. Five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Almost like a chest shot, it seems. Well, certainly not hurt. We know that. He's not hurt. But, boy, that's a vital point. Gone. Forever. Unless he can win this round. And go right now. Let's see if Gamboa smells blood. You know, he's got his guy swollen. He's had him down now. Rojas fighting for his career, it's obvious. He is, and that right hand of Gamboa landing again and again. That's been his best weapon, as it often is against the lefty. And now, his right hand lands front from Gamboa. Gamboa looking to land a power shot. Let's see if he can string combinations together. He's doing exactly that. Rojas has to drop a bomb on him. That's his only shot. He does, and the best opportunity he's going to get is when Gamboa is having his best moment Tight. offensively. <laughs> Rojas isn't punching. Gamboa is waiting as well. Trying to faint Rojas into fighting, make a mistake. Getting sloppy, Steve. It's like Gamboa's just waiting for the right moment to land that right hand. Both guys have missed badly. Gamboa knew he landed a right flush there because he stepped back as if to show off his work. Now it's Rojas trying to move forward, but reluctant. So that's a 10-8 round, you would think, for Yuriorkis Gamboa with the knockdown. Come on, fast. Sit down. Give me the protector. Look, look, listen. It's, it's very easy. If the guy has a bad eye, Listen. If he has a left eye swollen, he took the line. Action from round five. When Rojas fought Chris John, he suffered two knockdowns just like this. You see, his foot sort of went out from under him there. That didn't, it's a debatable knockdown to me. It was like a cuff. Watch the right foot of Rojas. He's on the... Uh, he knocked himself down. Wow, it looks like he just, he just reached so far with his right leg that he lost balance. But you know what? I've said this many times on our show. If a referee rules a knockdown, the judges have to score accordingly, regardless of what they saw. So that's a 10-8 round for Gamboa. Maybe academic, Steve. Rojas, again, got to land a big punch. He's got to keep firing and get fortunate. Let's go, guys. Let's go. He's got to get competitive. He may be giving Gamboa something to think about, and that could be the experience, you know, that he feels this guy knows how to fight, but he also is staring at Gamboa is at a 37-year-old guy who has fought once in each of the last three years who is definitely stale and perhaps on the serious slide. So you can start asking as we hit the halfway mark, when does Gamboa ramp it up a little more? Does he need to? I don't feel he needs to. I feel he's fighting a very smart, mature fight. Agreed. You know, everybody would love to see a guy take another guy out with, with Florio fantastic punches. It's not going to happen every time. So far, it hasn't happened in this fight. And Salas telling them, hey, you've got his eyes swollen. You know, break him down. Break him down patiently. But you sort of, you can smell that stoppage coming, you know, down, down the deep stretch. Very well, right. And Salas, uh, or I should say uh, Rojas, showing good stamina. He doesn't look fatigued, but he certainly looks like a beaten fighter. A 
big difference between what you want to do and what you're able to do, and he's not been able to do much. Wouldn't you agree, though, Nick, that Rojas, from the tape we watched of his second fight with Chris John, he was in that fight more than he's in this fight. Very competitive, but I thought it was a real sloppy fight. A lot of misses again. He's just, he's not a sharpshooter. He'll make you miss. He's got technique to not get hit flush, but he doesn't land many flush. His connect rate's terrible. Shot to the body there. And Bow on right to the body, followed up with a hesitation little check hook. Oh, there's a left hand from Rojas. So a grazing, glancing blow lands. Nice left on the way out. Uh, Rojas trying to get out of danger. And now the Cuban is going for it. Inside a minute to go in the sixth. There he goes. He's letting his hands loose now. He's trying to climb all over Rojas. And if Rojas wasn't the veteran that he is, Nick, this fight wouldn't have gone this far, believe me. Because physically, it's a little bit of a mismatch. Oh, it is. Wipe this out. But again, Rojas with the stamina. And Russell Moore white, warning again in this blue corner, wipe it down. It's very wet. They're not in that area now. Now they've slowed the pace, and it's Rojas coming forward. Well, another round to the bank for Gamboa. Halfway through this scheduled 12 round WBA featherweight title. Fight. Close your eyes. Look, champion. You have to stay with the same plan. When he attacks, you hit him in the body. You gotta go with your velocity. Let's let's put them hands together. You touch him, touch him. He don't have that much energy. Hit him with the jab. Hit him with the jab and then you hit him from round six. Be careful what you hope for. Cheo Rojas, because he lands a long left hand, and all he got for it was another flurry from Gamboa. Here it is. Totally nullified the one punch that Rojas landed. Well, sort of a little preview on what you might have to do against the Gamboa. You got to nail him from outside, a tall guy. Hang on. Let's go. Gamboa has not been inside long. Rojas gets driven back. Gamboa's jab has not landed much at all tonight, but it has maybe blinded or made Rojas think about that and not see what's coming next. But it really hasn't been a factor, Steve. No, it hasn't, and, and having a closed eye is not good at all, but Rojas, better the right eye than the left eye, because the left eye is the one that you have to see the right hands coming, and that's the big punch for Gamboa. Kind of a moot point, though. Oh, that yeah, tailing left hand landed. Gamboa, let's see if he gets sloppy or fights under control, or just ramps up the offense and starts throwing more shots. Rojas gets hit by a left hand and rocked a little bit. He's off balance so much, Steve. Wasn't sure there if Rojas' is right glove touched the canvas or not. You know, his knockdowns against Chris John were that way. He's off balance. And Gamboa is just trying to run him down now again. Knocking off a little bit now. Just pokes the jab at his face. Trying to set up that power. A decent combination punching from Gamboa. He's landed the right and followed with the hook at times. You wonder if Gamboa shouldn't be moving more to his left and setting up the left hook because of that right eye problem. Yeah, good point. <laughs> left sort of, hand. Exactly. Sort of what I was talking about, although it was more uppercut than hook. And Gamboa was so proud of himself. Look at him prancing and dancing in there. But you know, Rojas doesn't react. He'll just stand there and wait for what? Yeah, it's almost he's got the feeling he's got one hope to win the fight. Nice counter right hand from Gamboa. Got hit to the body and came back and cracked with the right hand. Gamboa, you used the term before. He's breaking him down. That's exactly what he's doing. 
Yeah, some of the fights going on in Rojas. Rojas' last